National Anthem, the Republic of the Philippines. It's basketball action time. The men's basketball semi-finals are upon us as we uh, have the national anthems of the sides playing in this semi-final. Philippines and Indonesia going head-to-head. -head. It's a replay of the final just last year in Vietnam where Indonesia upset the record champions Philippines and maybe an element of redemption for Philippines who have been labelled the redeemed team by those in the media in philippines but preliminary round composed of two groups of four teams each each team played the, the teams within their group the top two teams advanced to the knockout round and second in their group philippines find themselves taking on top of their group indonesia in what is a mouth-watering tie philippines were in group a finishing second behind the hosts cambodia and in group b indonesia finishing just above thailand in their group so this is a semi-final fixture. Indonesia against Philippines, starting in around three minutes. Welcome to the semi-finals of the men's basketball competition of Cambodia 2023. A knockout round, it's a single elimination event. So the winner of this tie goes to the gold medal game. The loser of this tie goes to the bronze medal match and is not guaranteed a medal. If you do win this tie, you are guaranteed to finish with, at the very least, a silver medal, even if you don't manage to overcome your opponent in the final. There's plenty at stake for both these sides. Indonesia, first-time gold medalists in Vietnam at the last edition. Philippines are the record champions. They've won 18 titles of the 21 SEA Games basketball competitions for men. That is an astonishing record. And the only times that they've not finished as winners they've finished as runners-up 
which means that if they should crash out in the semi-finals today, it'll be the first time that Philippines do not make the final of the men's basketball competition. And that would be considered nothing short of a tragedy in Philippines. For Indonesia, however, it's very much an opportunity to uh, rubber stamp what was considered an upset victory in Vietnam last time round, an opportunity for them to show and impress. And they've got the uh, ability to compete with the very best in the region and come out on top. They showed it in the second half against Thailand in their final group game. Thailand were leading for much of the game, but Indonesia managed to score 60 points, 33 points in the final quarter alone. 60 points in the second half to overcome Thailand late on in that game. And now, yeah, they finished top of their group to set up this mouth-watering tie. Let me just take you through the uh, starting fives for the respective teams. Indonesia are going to be starting with uh, Kokodaputra, Bean, Jawato, Prastawa and Prosper. The likes of Kokodaputra and Prastawa multiple medalists at the SEA Games and certainly looking for another gold after helping Indonesia to gold in 2022. For Philippines, they are a much changed side from uh, the great Philippines teams that we've seen competing down the years, but they are a team that brings plenty of uh, talent and ability. And they've got some genuine experience as well. But they're starting five, Chris Newsom, uh, uh, Marcio Lassiter, Christian J. Mar Perez is known to most as just CJ, so I'll call him CJ. Justin Brownlee and Christian Stanardinger are the starting five for Philippines, who will turn out in the blue up against an Indonesian roster, who turn out in the white with red trim, the colors of the Indonesian flag. Match commissioner today, Prince Kuruvila Matam of India, the referees. Tomohiro Hosoda of Japan, Sung Lee of Korea, and Oh Seung Chan of Malaysia. It's semi-final time, and it is a replay of the 2021 edition final, Philippines against Indonesia, and we are set to go. Indonesia in the white, Philippines in blue. Jump ball and Philippines come away with possession early on. An early chance potentially for Philippines through Perez. A look to dictate play early on. Brownlee looks to come near side to Newsom. Several naturalized players who uh, play for the teams at the Sea Games. these sides sporting naturalized players Brownlee is among them for Philippines the American born naturalized player where's number 32 and Lester Prospero starts for Indonesia where's number 25 the center so the opening quarter of this tie the Philippines can they get on the scoreboard first they do with a magical three Philippines with the early lead the high side of the court, what a play. And we're officially underway. Indonesia can't respond immediately. Going for the little drive into the paint, Prastawa. There it is now. Going to find Stan Hardinger under the bucket. He can't shoot, sends the ball back out from the paint. The little two point jump shot is slightly long. Tips the back of the Ribbon away. Big drive. And again, from under the bucket, Indonesia failed to score. The Philippines with a chance to go 6 nothing up. That's not going to drop, though. Hit to play by Bean, who has possession now for Indonesia. That's Coco de Putra. Chawato getting a touch. He's been an impressive player for Jawato now for the longest time and Indonesia are on the scoreboard now. Three plays three. 
great little play. Mr. Prosper. Showing a little magic from a long way out. Philippines trying to play short. Stan Hardinger looks to drive into the paint. Little jump shots. Second chance points do not go either. And we're locked at three. Brownlee with that early three for Philippines. And the response from Indonesia. So a three-point effort at each. As we find ourselves nearly two minutes into this time. A few false shots from both teams. They'll be looking to up their field goal shooting percentage throughout the course of this game. So important in this high-energy end-to-end game. Bean. Go himself. Looking around for options here. Shot clock down at 12. So no real pressure on Indonesia at the moment. Bar from their opponents. Rastawa. Looking to regain control of the ball. Shot clock at two. And eventually the turnover conceded. Philippines. Good play. Can they hold on to it? No. Second turnover here. So it remains three plays three. And another turnover. The ball handling is... A little untidy at the moment. Only with the opening three and Prosper with the three back for Indonesia. Drawing the foul, Stan Hardinger. So he'll have two from the line. So important to make your free throws in games that are likely to be as tight as this one. Free throw shooting percentage needs to be good. Chris Stan Hardinger, the 33-year-old, now plays for uh, Ginebra in the Philippines. Born and raised in Germany, he spent the longest time in the Philippines. Successful with one of two. So the Philippines up by one, early stages of this men's basketball semi-final. Rastoa just bringing Bean into play again. Rastoa around the outside. Jawato looks and fails to drop. Nothing but metal as it clips the rim and away. Philippines ball. Indonesia. A few breaks. And only one scoring chance that they managed to take advantage of. Newsom just finding Perez. The turnover. Bean's got it. Might take it in for the dunk. Does not. Hits the back of the rim and away. Under a little pressure here. Stan Hardinger. Now a chance for three. And that's going to drop. Great play from Philippines. Claim the rebound. Take it up court. And find a three. They lead by four. Impressive from... Philippines as Lassiter made the play. Indonesia come back. Find the two. They trail by two. No foul here. Stan Hardinger. And Prosper's going to have a couple from the line. Second for Prosper to come. And it's good. The naturalized player who was born in Dominica. Represented Indonesia at several FIBA events, but he's never appeared at the SEA Games. This is first. This does not drop. Indonesia ball. Seven plays seven. Almost midway through the opening quarter. It's been a very low-scoring affair. Many buckets that just failed to land for both these sides. Master looks to apply a little pressure. Rastawa. 
the outside of Perez goes good on the drive and uh, can't make the play happen for himself. It's Brownlee. Played with the New York Knicks at the NBA Summer League back in 2012-2013. Uh, He has had a decent career in basketball. It's taken him to a good few places. I start inbounding for Indonesia. An opportunity for Indonesia to hit the front if they can make this play count. Shot clock is counting down. Bean has it now. Is he going to go? Shot clock at four, three. Somebody needs to make the play. Under pressure from Prostawa. It doesn't drop. And seven plays seven. buzzer beater for Indonesia this eventually goes Philippines with Michael Phillips on court the LaSalle man 20 year old his brother Ben also in the training squad but didn't make the final roster for Philippines Philippines lead by two Indonesia looking for a three to hit the front and it's good so 10 plays nine Indonesia in front for the first time in the game little piece of work from uh, Koko de Putra 27 year old but a veteran of the side the rebound for Philippines this is not going to go a little too strong from Brownlee who landed his first three point effort of this game Prastawa the very impressive Indonesian basketball players over the years. But no longer do they have the likes of uh, Aki Visnu turning out for this team. They have a handful of debutants, the likes of Vijanta Putra, Mohamed Arigi, Julian Chelius, Bean and Prosper are both Sea Games debutants as well. And Indonesia in front by one. Here's Prosper. Kokoriputra. Prastawa. Trying to move quickly around the court. Shot clock again, down at six. Three. Eventually the whistle comes. Destroying the foul. Phillips, the uh, culprit. Six players in this Indonesian squad, though, return to follow up their gold medal winning performance from last edition as another three is good for Indonesia. Prosper. Last It's laying it off. Who's in space? Looking for three. That's got to go and does. So... Good for the Gilas as Lastimosa lands one. He's very much a clutch playmaker. Very nuggety little point guard is uh, Lastimosa. This may be very good in the air and does for Jawato as he adds to the Indonesian tally and they go back in front by one. 13 plays 12. What a play. Jerome Lastimosa, magnificent. 24-year-old Adamson star. Heating up in this quarter it was a story of missed opportunities for much of the opening quarter as Prosper with the drive manages the layup and he finds another two. Indonesia have the biggest lead of the game. The biggest lead of the game at three. Leaving a man behind. It's not going to go. And there's no tipping either. Bean. On the outside. 
Green looks to go. That layup is successful, and Indonesia go to 20. They, uh, they lead by five. High side. Yes, it's good from Lassiter. 20 plays 18. Chris Ross is on as well for Philippines. Chris Ross onto the court and on his back early on. The oldest squad member for Team Philippines for uh, Chod Reyes' squad. Number 38. He's somewhat of a legend in Philippines basketball. Nine-time PBA champion, multiple finals MVP. Ross are inbounds for Philippines. They trail by two, 18 plays 20. Lastimosa, back with Lastimosa. Looks for the little pop pass into the paint, but the steal is on, and Indonesia have a chance to increase their advantage. Their biggest lead of the game was three. They lead by two, currently by uh, five, rather. They currently lead by two. Just to go four in front, and it's good. So 22 plays 18. Indonesian fans happy so far with the uh, scores. They lead by four. No problems here. Philippines may have an opportunity as uh, Rosser is down. Have an opportunity from the line. Lovely view of the polished hardwood floor, the court. What a game. Genuinely end-to-end -end stuff. Twenty-eight meters by fifteen meters, the basketball court. Philippines trailing by four. Rosser misses with his first chance. Born in San Diego, California. His older brother Matt also plays in the PBA, the Philippines Basketball Association. Association. They uh, oversee the league. Basketball in the Philippines is enormous. And this team, Ilas Filipinas, are the hope of the nation. Prosper misses on this opportunity. Ilas Filipinas. Back with possession, trailing by three. Going on the drive. That doesn't go, and the rebound is claimed. Stan Hardinger shifts it out. Philippines ball. Ross stands waiting for it. Team plays 22. Do Philippines have a big finish to come? It may be Indonesia who will extend their advantage. What a great little run. Bean off the backboard. Second chance points for Indonesia. They lead by five with just seconds to go in the opening quarter. What a play. Philippines were looking to finish the quarter with a play of their own. And instead, they've turned over possession. And conceded. 24 plays, 19. Philippines down by five against Indonesia. Two from the line for Stan Hardinger. Eight point two seconds left. 
in this quarter. Important that they make their free throws, though. It's to trail by three. Stan Hardinger. Too big. If they claim the rebound, something may be on. Is there a finish to come? Shot needs to go. Shot clock into two. That needed to go, but didn't. And ultimately, we uh, find ourselves at the end of the opening quarter. Indonesia, rather frenetic end to the opening quarter. Indonesia leading by 24 points to 20. looking good 12 points so far in the game 12 of the 24 for Indonesia Stimosa on for a short while has already made an impact with the couple of field goal attempts three pointers that he's landed he's got seven in total in the game so a short break between the first and second and third and fourth quarters and then a half time break of 15 minutes at the end of the second quarter short Reyes, the veteran coach of philippines 59 year old in his fourth spell as head coach of philippines milos page the serbian in charge of indonesia lead of five for Indonesia but they currently lead by four ten points in the paint that's where they've really been the difference between them and Philippines who've only made two points in the paint and they haven't been able to have a scoring run of more than four as well have Philippines so far in this game will get things going for Indonesia to start the second quarter or the second period whichever you prefer Yuda Saputra starting with Ramot and a three point play from the outset Indonesia in front by seven now biggest lead of the game 27-20 how do Philippines respond Turnover. Looking for the little jump shot too. It should have been a formality, but it's missed by uh, Ramot. Philippines looking from a long way out, and that goes. So impressive play. Philippines sitting back with a three pointer of their own. Prosper goes to claim the rebound does pops it in for another two indonesia go to 29 they lead by six philippines struggling to get a grip on this game every time they find some points back indonesia go back in front for indonesia i said after that landmark gold medal at the 31st southeast asian games that it was three years in the making they put on a really gritty performance. They pulled off a, an 85-81 win over Gilas Pilipinas that ended a 33-year reign as the basketball kings in the region. What a play. A little hook shot is good again. Indonesia go beyond the 30 and in front for the biggest lead of the game. 31 plays 23. It's a lead of eight. Timeout call.
Derby's fans might be a little concerned by how things have started, but they have confidence in their team, I have no doubts. Seen some amazing players over the years for this Philippines team. Incidentally, the likes of uh, Japit Aguilar and Roger Pogoy were ruled out of the Sea Games owing to injuries that they sustained during the, the PBA campaign. So they weren't around, and it, it's a much changed squad. It, it, players like Jimmy Alapag, like Keith Ravenna, like Winema Fajardo, not at these Sea Games. And they don't have some of their star players like Jordan Clarkson of the Utah Jazz and Kai Soto, who plays in Japan. But this is still a squad capable of pulling off tremendous results. Nicknamed the Redeem Team, can they redeem themselves by beating Indonesia after losing to Indonesia in the finals last time out? This is very much a grudge match. The Philippines, happy to chip away at the lead. Dami Dianya looks to get things going. Dianya tipped in for two. Great little play. Dami Dianya with the uh, initial effort. Senegalese born youngster, still a teenager. It's been. the outside and it's not going to go Five plays 25. This will be the plus one from the line. Doesn't go. No and one for Indonesia. They lead by 10. Two minutes down in the second quarter. options picks up Brown Lee again it's just not going for Philippines and a little bit of work under the buckets that's going to drop chance for the plus one for Philippines now just to get their way back to within seven And Rossa falls short. Indonesia dominating matters in the relatively early stages of this semi final tie. Philippines. The all conquering Philippines. dominant team in the continent. Only a handful of sides have ever beaten Philippines in basketball. Prosper again looking for options. Ooh, a little handing error that's collected by Bean, but the shot clock running down and that was not going to count even if it went. No buzzer beating play. Prostawa with the handling error that Bean tried to recover. Quite the atmosphere that 
Philippines players are used to playing in front of, but they're used to being in front in the game as well. Trail by eight as the gold medalists of 2021 edition find themselves in front. 25 to 27 is to potentially cut the lead. Three-pointer from a long way out. Hits the backboard and away. And again, it's Prosper with the rebound. He has crossed though up. Perez trying to close him down. Esteban just steps away. A little play by Joato as well. It's a big arc, but it's a successful shot again. Prosper is having a very prosperous time on court. He goes to 21 points in the game of Indonesia's 38. He has been thoroughly impressive. It's not going to go. So to the line we go. With Indonesia in front by 11. And Lester Prosper having a fabulous time on court. The Perez will go. is yet in the game just his only shot and this is his first free throw and this is his second free throw as well so it's turning out to be a horrid time for Perez but the rebound claimed by Philippines he can't tip it in for two despite twice trying to go for it Rasta now for Indonesia pulls up to in front of the arc for options around the outside back with Krastawa. Arigi wanted it. Clock is going down now with Jawato. Jawato looks for the three. That's a little too long. Indonesia ball. And lead of 11. End of the timeouts. Indonesia and Philippines going head to head in the semi final tie. Indonesia up by 11. Biggest lead of the game. And not looking good for Philippines early on in this semi final tie. Too quick on the jump shot. Ross sends it out to the near side. Little pick up by Tolentino. Coco de Putra is a guilty party on this occasion. support looks a little concerned
Indonesia. Kronostawa pushing. They've got Prosper making points, just dropping points. At the moment, 21 points for Prosper in the game so far. Of the 38. The Philippines are just finding uh, really difficult to find buckets. This is better. It'll go for Arvin Tolentino. North Point man. brother-in-law of uh, former PBA player Doug Kramer. He's married to his sister Brandy. The outside again, Philippines just can't make the play happen for themselves. Indonesia have it back. And a big run forward and Prosper comes down heavily. He's back on his feet. Diania rather comes down heavily, but he's back on his feet. Indonesia at the line. Yeah, yeah. Had a lead of 11. This will be to take them. Further clear. Currently lead of eight. Yeah, yeah. The second go. It does. So Dania takes Indonesia to 39 and the lead of nine. Philippines playing in the blue. They beat Malaysia and Singapore either side of a 79 68 loss to Cambodia. The hosts to finish second in their pool behind Cambodia. That's better from Philippines. Brownlee made his opening three point play to start the game. Such a positive note for Philippines. Never failed to make the final. What a play by Bean. Lands the two. As he's fouled in the act of shooting. And he'll go to the line to add one. 41 plays 32. It's just looking better and better for Indonesia. Turned 29 last weekend, celebrating his birthday. During these SEA Games, can't find the additional points, and Philippines look to go on the opposite side. Nastar with the... Attempted disruption, but only succeeds in fouling his opponent. Perez will go to the line. Philippines have won all but three titles, 18 of the 21 basketball titles. They have played in every single final at the SEA Games. As things stand, we're approaching the end of the opening half, and Philippines are down. Against Indonesia, it is not unthinkable to come back from a nine-point deficit with uh, at least two quarters to play. And Perez again finds himself unsuccessful from the free-throw line. Still no points in the game, and three misses from three free-throw attempts. Make that four misses from four free-throw attempts. Tolentino goes, and air ball. It's very little in terms of promising plays from Philippines at the moment. Saputra is controlling matters. Bean back to Saputra. Pull up jump shot and that just falls short. There it is. Where are the options? Stan Harding it. Just to make himself available. There it is. With Brownlee, it's going to fall short again. They can't claim the rebound. Philippines, Indonesia ball. 
Indonesia. I'm playing some splendid defense as well, it must be said. Now, frustrating the Philippine stars at the moment. Indonesia support, very happy so far. And they've had lots to smile about. They beat Lao, they beat Vietnam, they beat Thailand to finish top of Group B to set up this semi-final tie against Philippines. Saputra. This doesn't go. And his second from the line will... You see Indonesia 10 points clear now. This goes, it does indeed. Nothing but nets, 42-32. And Indonesia front by double figures. Biggest lead of the game was at 11. Rossa. Better movement, better passing from Philippines. Brownlee. And in space. Can't make the shot. The rebound oh so nearly before Prosper had it back for Indonesia. They've got the ball and a chance to go into the biggest lead of the game if they can make another play. Not scored Philippines 24-20 in the opening quarter. They're outscoring Philippines 18-12 in this quarter. And this will be a chance for Philippines to get something back. Lastimosa. Back inside, and that's going to be the offensive foul from Stan Hardinger on Bean. It's all looking just a little untidy for Philippines. They remain the gold medal favourites. They need to get past Indonesia in the semi-finals. Despite the years of dominance that Philippines have had in men's basketball competition at the Sea Games. No, not playing quite to that pedigree at the moment. The side out to reclaim the gold they lost to Indonesia in Hanoi last year. They had a training camp at the Inspire Sports Academy in Laguna before heading to Cambodia. Rosser at the free throw line. Good with his first. Good with his second as well. Indonesia still lead by eight. Yanya. Chance of defense, defense, defense for Philippines from the Philippines faithful. The defense looking just uh, a little shaky at times, looking better on that play, nearly forcing the error from Indonesia. Green will inbound. Dianya. Back of Bean, shot clock at five. Something needs to happen. Dianya looks for the three. Off the rim and away. Stimosa, Philippines had players forward. Dolentino thought about the three. Goes instead for the two. Goes to within six now of Indonesia for Philippines. Better play from Marvin Dolentino. Northport man. Off the rim and away. Rebound claimed by Indonesia. Counting down now at seven, six, five. Bean tries to go himself. Bean looking to make things happen for Indonesia. Hasn't scored too many points, and he's certainly been calling the plays. 
prospers the man with the points at the moment. 21 of Indonesia's 42 will come for Leicester Prosper. Philippines do have Brownlee's 12, but nothing much beside that. Last him also with a couple of three pointers was good, but he's got seven in the game. sets of fans the action is end to end if a little untidy in terms of shooting from both these sides the basketball here at Elephant Hall 2 at the Moradok Teco Indoor Sports Centre in Phnom Penh so to get back underway it'll be Indonesia ball just over 42 seconds remain in this first half End of the second quarter approaching fast. <laughs> Philippines back in possession, back into a good scoring position. And at the end of the opening quarter, they had a very similar situation. They couldn't make the play. The turnover conceded and they ended up going down behind by four. This is better. They make the play. 42 plays 38. And they're level with Indonesia at 18 points all in the second quarter. They're still trail by four. 42 plays 38. Bean trying to control them. the play and see if Indonesia can go in front. By further. Off the backboard and in by Bean. What a play. Magnificent from being 45 plays 38. Indonesia go to 21 in the quarter. And timeout called. Timeout so important in terms of coaches try to get their key points across in the game to discuss tactics sometimes simply to raise the player morale or to disrupt the momentum of their opponents <laughs> Indonesia leading by seven The Philippines do. Clock will restart when uh, when the player on the court touches the ball, inside the court touches the ball, not when the player who's inbounding has possession or moves to start. But effectively, this uh, ball needs to come in, get swept forward by the Philippines and. Uh, try to make the play if they are to finish closer to Indonesia at the end of this opening half. Clock is counting down, shot needs to go, and it's not going to happen for Philippines. Simon Tolentino just trying right at the very end to land the three that would have seen Indonesia only four ahead at the break. But as things stand, Indonesia find themselves seven to the good, 45 plays 38. Philippines had a couple of great plays, including Lassiter's three. And the clutch playmaker. Jerome Lastimosa came on and landed two quick three-pointers. A couple of...
couple of great three-point plays. Yanya looked, could not find. Prosper with a little tip in. He's got 21 points in the opening half. Does Lester Prosper. Does he look good for Indonesia? Outside of that, though, the shooting all round has been a little poor. Indonesia, the better of the three-point statistics overall, seven of their 15 that they've managed, only 10 of their 22-pointers all round, and an overall field goal shooting percentage of 48, but Philippines have an overall field goal shooting percentage of 37, which is of massive concern for Philippines. A trail in virtually all the stakes, including rebounds, assists, and steals. Each side having conceded eight turnovers, though, will be a worry for both these teams. More bench points for Philippines, which is a positive, but certainly points in the paint is where Indonesia have been dominating as well. Good drives. And Leicester Prosper, 21 points. Brownlee for Philippines, the best of the point scorers. He's got 12 in the game. So the third quarter to start in around 12 minutes' time. The men's basketball semi-final between Indonesia and Philippines. For one of these sides, will it be Indonesia, the reigning champions, or will it be the record champions, Philippines? Indonesia have won exactly one gold medal at the Sea Games in men's basketball, and it came at the very last edition of the Sea Games, the 31st edition of the Sea Games. This 32nd, well, it's certainly throwing up a few surprises. Cambodia into the semi-finals for the first time, for example. And Philippines trailing by seven at the break. They have never failed to make the final, Philippines. This is the team that was sent to Cambodia as the redeem team. Try to earn the gold once again after losing it to Indonesia last time out. who lead by seven at the break 45 to 38 <laughs> Philippines in the blue get off to a very positive start charge by Rossa sees him find points that take Philippines to 40 and within five of Indonesia who looks to strike back here Rastawa a little bit of pressure from Rossa. Kukuri Putra. Rosper loses out. Uh, turnover conceded. Philippines now with a chance to close the gap further. Will they go for the drive? More points in the paint? No, we're going to see another foul. Plenty of fouling in this game. As Newsom sees himself fouled, he'll go to the line for two. Shooting. From uh, free throws has been very average for these sides. Koko de Putra infringe it. This is out. Missing far too many of their free throws here, and this could be the difference between winning and losing. one stage however they did lead by four in the very early stages and Newsom leaves it short but the tip in is good by Rossa Philippines they go within three of Indonesia 45 plays 42 for this Gilas Filipinas team Gilas a Tagalog word that effectively means prowess 
translated to English. And again, the turnover here, and Philippines looking a much changed side from the one that was battling and looked really untidy out on court for large periods of the opening two quarters. This a better play, and up off the backboard and in. What a one run, what a drive, what a play by Chris Ross. And Philippines have almost completely extinguished the Indonesian lead. And with that, Milos Page, the coach of Indonesia, calls the timeout. Something needed to happen for Philippines in the second half, and it looks like something has. They look reinvigorated as they suddenly ignite the game and ignite the crowd. Richard turnovers for Indonesia. I've seen them concede twice now. That's conceding on the free throw line, although Newsom missed both his efforts. Tipping was good for an additional two by Philippines. Indonesia now in possession. They lead by one. This side was leading by 11 midway through the second quarter. Philippines coming back. Beam. Shot clock is counting down, and that is good by Bean. So 48 plays 44. Oh, a two-point play, rather, having stepped inside the arc. 47 plays 44. Three-pointer here to level it up at 47, and it's good. High side of the court, 47 plays 47. Dolentino take a bow. Now things are really heating up we've got the the drama the excitement of the men's basketball semi-final nearly a turnover and that's going to be held ball 47 plays 47 indonesia against philippines indonesia have made two points in this quarter so far, Philippines have nine. They've cut that seven-point deficit right the way down to zero. They did lead in the very early stages of the opening quarter by four. We'll be looking to go in front by further than that. Indonesia, what do they have left? They are the defending champions. Can they make the gold medal game again? This is the team they beat last time out. Prastawa, three times a SEA Games gold, uh, medalist, including a gold medalist last time out. Ross to, to Lassiter, and uh, to uh, Rossa rather. Lovely drive, they go too clear now to Philippines, 49 plays 47. Indonesia, where's the response? It's going to be a foul called on Bean, not a, a turnover. Talk about a turnaround in fortunes. Philippines have started this third quarter with 11 points. Indonesia have got two. Time Ross are a little too enthusiastic in trying to defend against Jerome Anthony Bean, one of the naturalized players. Turn out for Indonesia's Red Whites. Here comes Lastimosa again. Really is a clutch playmaker. Will he make the difference? Michael Phillips is on too. Indonesia, they've got to make something happen for themselves. Prastawa, Yanya, 
good drive from Diagne. Looks for the loop ball, hits the backboard in a way. Can't claim the rebound, but it is eventually picked up by Indonesia. Look for three at the buzzer. It is good. Rasto are released just in time. Indonesia back in front. They go to 51st. 50 plays, 49. Game on. Game on. Splendid action here to start the third quarter at the Elephant Hall 2 at the Morodek Teko Indoor Sports Center. Indonesia in front by one. 50 plays, 49. A little concern here for Brownlee. Only rises to his feet. He'll be okay to continue. And Indonesia still looking a little speculative despite that magnificent three pointer a moment ago. Hostowers look good with ball in hand, but not quite happening for Indonesia in this third quarter. Officials just want to have a look at that last incident with uh, Brownlee down. You may see an unsportsmanlike foul called, but we'll wait for the decision. Philippines takes Philippines up to 50 points all now with Indonesia. While he spent time with the New York Knicks, never got to play on the official NBA roster. He spent summer league with them. Philippines ball after the technical another play made what a great play under the bucket under pressure despite being fouled Philippines go three in front and I'll have another from the line <laughs> 53 plays 50 Philippines in front the opening half certainly suggested there was going to be an upset on the cards. Not so much that the gold medalists would advance to the gold medal game, but the Philippines would not make the final for the first time ever at the SEA Games. But they're showing signs that they are ready to compete for the gold now, and they lead by three. Tolentino, a little shake of the head from... Marvin Tolentino. He's been. Gilas Filipinas leading by three. The name Gilas adopted from the mascot of the 2005 Sea Games. Was held in Manila. It was an eagle. Prastar doesn't look for the three, instead goes for the jump two, and that's good by Prastar. He's got five in the game, and Indonesia within one. Six minutes left in this third quarter. Whose game is it to be? And a miss by Phillips. Claimed the rebound, looked to put it straight in, but Bounces out, reclaimed by Lastimosa. Lastimosa looks for three, and that lands short. The rebound claimed under the bucket, but the whistle sounds. <laughs> the 
Philippines up by one. Philippines fans not happy with the uh, call. The player in possession was out over the, the baseline. Indonesia ball. Pianya. Back with Prastar. Looking to make the play and lands it. So Prastawa is having a fine run of things. Indonesia back in front by two. He goes to eight in the game. Around the outside, Ross looking for a little space. Running out of space as well. But manages to draw the foul from the very tall 26-year-old Kosasi. Philippines ball, and trail by two. Indonesia, 55-53 in front. The gold medalists looking to play in the gold medal game again. This is semi-final time. While the action looked a little untidy in the opening half, the second half has looked a far better affair. Some quality basketball played, particularly by Philippines, in this third quarter so far. Another chance to uh, hit the three. The rebound claimed by Prastawa. Dianya comes away with it. Feeds Bean. And Indonesia escape. Just taking his time about walking the ball to the opponent's half of the court. Rossa looking to apply a little pressure on Bean, but not too close. Bean goes. Good drive. Little pass as well. Under the bucket. It's good for two. How about that? from Vincent Kosasi. So Indonesia in front by four. They were leading by four. At the end of the opening quarter, they led by seven at the end of the opening half. And up we go through Bean, does not drop. Yanya gets the rebound. Down to ground he goes. Fifty seven plays fifty three, Indonesia in front. Yanya's got two. So important. For Dianya to land these now. Both down on their free throw shooting percentages. Philippines, horrendously so. <laughs> Philippines only at 38% from the free throw line. You need to be up and over 80% to be in the game usually. Indonesia. Only four of their eight from the free throw line. Yanya's got two to change that, up the percentage. It'll be 60% if he can land these two. Goes with his first. Indonesia. 57-53 in front. Yanya to take Indonesia to a five-point lead. That's good, and the five-point lead is there. 58 plays 53. The 17-year-old from Senegal, naturalized player. That's the additional one from the free-throw line. Perez. CJ Perez. Straight through and in for the layup. Lead is now at three for Indonesia. Great play by Perez on the outside. Screen set in front of him. Allowed him an opportunity to go through. He's been looking for the uh, immediate repost, response. Ball kept in play. Passing game looks to be on point here. Dianya can't get a shot away. Quickly released. Shot clock now at five. Bean looks to get it away.
Ross with the foul. So to the free throw line we go again. Team foul count just uh, stacking up for both these sides. Tunisia in front by three. This could take them five in front. Both these sides under 50% from the free throw line in this game. It's 5 of 11 now for Indonesia. Five of 12. They are leaving valuable points out on court, both these teams. Bean back in possession. Looks for the three, and that's just too long. Indonesia ball. Great pressure from Vincent Kosasi. 58 plays 55 and some of the untidiness that we saw in the earlier stages of this game perhaps just creeping in <laughs> Philippines still out scoring Indonesia in this third quarter 17 to 13 they had the first 11 of those points within two and a half minutes of being on court since then points have dried up a little for Philippines Passing game here, finds Diagne in space, and he goes just wide of the bucket. Lastimosa has possession for Philippines once more. Stops just outside the arc. Looks to spread it around, finds Brownlee. He's taking his time, shot clock at 10. Little drive, out wide again. Searching for space, Perez. And call against Perez. They are failing to use their opportunities at the moment, both these sides. Indonesia from the free throw line just can't drop a free throw. Philippines missing out some relatively simple jump shots. Norigi and Ramot combining, here's Ramot. Ramot going. And he goes good. Indonesia go to 60. They lead by five. Caleb Ramot Kemilang. Dewa United Banten man at his third SEA Games. Last played at the 2019 SEA Games. Missed out on the gold medal performance last time around because he was injured. In fact, been out with injury for the longest time. He's only recently got back to competitive play. So great to see him back. Perez looks for three. That's going to drop short. And Bean with a rebound for Indonesia. Taking their time. Shot clock at 10. Great drive. It's not going to fall. Philippines with a rebound. Perez again comes away with it. TJ Perez. Nice for the San Miguel BMN in the PBA. That looked good. It looked really good. And it is good. Philippines back to within two. After the three-point play by Justin Brownlee. He's played in Mexico. He's played in Italy. He's played in France. He played in Lebanon, he's played in the UAE, six-time PBA champion though, he settled in Philippines in 2016 as another layup is good and that's an additional two for Prosper, he goes to 23 in the game and Indonesia four clear. One minute left in this third quarter, Philippines outscoring Indonesia in this quarter, they go to within two as Lastimosa makes the play. are a lot tighter now than they were at half time where Indonesia looked to be romping their way into a fairly comfortable lead they found themselves at one stage 11 points to the good they led by seven at the break Philippines then overcame the deficit and found themselves in front by a couple but that lead has been cut and overturned once again Indonesia up by two with 41 seconds left on the clock in the third quarter game that could go any way 
been at the free throw line and eventually a free throw drops for Indonesia in this quarter. Let's make it a four point ball game. Recovery by Philippines. Three point ball game it is. Philippines may look for the three here to tie this game up at 63. Only a few seconds left in this third quarter. Who's going to make the play? Comes to the low side of the court. Lassiter again. Little drive, and this is not going to go. Indonesia ball. That's a mistake from Philippines. Not staying in bounds. Control matters for Indonesia. 12 seconds left in this quarter. They've got to go for the score here. And what's the option for Bean? Is he going to try himself? Looks for the drive, tries to find the pass. It comes out eventually to the near side. This has got to go, and it's good. Brilliant play by Brandon Jawato. And Indonesia are in front by six. Or is that five? No, stepped on the line. Five points advantage. But what a play. Bean eventually sees the ball out to Jawato. And Indonesia recover from what was a very shaky start to the third quarter. A couple of minutes break and then we'll have the fourth and final quarter in the semi-final tie. Indonesia up by five. Philippines have never failed to make a final at the SEA Games. Indonesia are the defending champions. Philippines are the record champions. 18 titles. Who will it be? This is a game that is still very far from being decided and may come down to the final seconds of the fourth quarter. back on court selection of supporters a little love for the camera fourth and final quarter is underway Indonesia up by five this little jump shot attempted by Brownlee is no good. Philippines will be looking to make up this deficit and overcome the uh, deficit. Indonesia need to... How do they manage the game? Prastawa, he had a real impact for Indonesia in the third quarter. It's Prosper, leading point scorer in the game with 23 overall. And that will not be a buzzer beater. And Philippines... Uh, the turnover, here they go. Ross feeds it into Brownlee. Back with Ross. Brownlee sets up for the three, and that's going to fall short. The rebound claimed by Prosper. Rastawa now. Nine minutes to go in this game. Caleb Ramot back to Prastawa. Here's Ramot again. Ramot goes up for the little jump shot. Can't find the finish. 65 plays 60. It remains. Philippines look for the quick ball forward. 
up to his feet is Brandon Rosser, an LEX Road Warriors player. Needs a little Road Warrior aggression. To prosper on court for Indonesia. 23 points in the game. Bean has 12. Brownlee, the top point scorer for Philippines with 19 after a really good third quarter. Philippines passing the ball around. Shot top down at 12. Didn't need to uh, rush the play, but it's a good drive and some points in the paint as that drops for two. CJ Perez, a three point ball game. Indonesia 65 62 in front. This is to take them potentially six clear. The backside of the rim and away. Philippines could level matters up on this play. Will they look for a three or will they go for the, the drive? It's an air ball. Kept in play. Brilliant. Second chance opportunity here and put away by Brownlee. He goes to 21 in the game and Philippines back to within one of Indonesia. Game on. This really is anybody's game at the moment. Brandon Jawato. The US born, Japanese based star. To the line he goes, Indonesia. Really down on their free throws. Only landed six of 14 in the game. Philippines have landed only 7 of 18. That means they've left 11 points out on court. That's good for the additional one. And Indonesia go in front by 4. 68 plays 64. After making that driving layup. Carled in the act of shooting by Newsom and gets to go to the line. Nearly left behind by Saputra. Bean just feeding it out wide. Joato. Prosper. Ramut wanted it. Bean has it. Now Saputra. What's the option? Drops the ball. Leaves it. Shot clock is counting down. Needed to go. And Prosper makes another big play. And the timeout comes. Leicester Prosper goes to 26 points in the game as Indonesia goes seven clear again. 71 plays 64. Chot Reyes calls the timeout for Philippines. right at the end of the third quarter Brandon Jawato this the last play of the game so far Lester, Lester Prosper with a magnificent three Indonesia led by seven at the break. They find themselves back in front by seven. 71 plays 64. Philippines needing to play a little catch up here. Little change up. Lassiter back on court. Here is Lassiter. Quick 
moving. Shot clock counting down. That needed to go a little earlier. And Philippines get the shot this time as Lassiter makes the three. Oh, what a play from the rebound. They managed to... the play they trail by four Indonesia in front six minutes 20 to go in this game is B Prosper might be the way to go he's got hot hands Prosper under the bucket can't hold on the ball is snatched away by Chris Newsom Morocco bolts man since 2015 like a handful of his teammates American dad and a Philippines mom Seventy-one plays sixty-seven. Four-point ball game with six minutes to go. <laughs> Philippines playing catch-up basketball here. Brownlee on to Ross up top is Lassiter who couldn't make it go. They claim the offensive rebound. Newsom again left him behind. Prosper has the turnover and Indonesia go. See if they can score. Extend their advantage once again. Bean. Big bump. And the charging call on Bean. Defensive foul. And the call is good for Philippines. moment still trailing in this game they outscored Indonesia in the third quarter by two 22 to 20 they had the first 11 of those 22 in the first two and a half minutes they need something similar if they're to overcome this deficit Indonesia meanwhile have managed the game nicely for large parts Newsom inside to the big man Brownlee and he goes good for two One points from the paint and he gets caught as well and have an opportunity to make this a one-point ball game from the free throw line the Philippines outscoring Indonesia in this third quarter Indonesia are the kind of team though that can go on terrific runs scoring runs as they proved against Thailand in final group stage match. They scored 60 points in the second half and 33 in the final quarter to win a game that Thailand led for much of it. Philippines to go within one now. Brownlee. Philippines are within one. 70 plays 71. Brownlee adds to his tally. Well beyond the 20-point mark. Still not quite with Lester Prospo, who's got 26 in the game for Indonesia. That won't drop. The rebound claimed by Philippines. And again, fouled. Prosper has been the go-to player. He's making things happen on court for Indonesia. Everyone's just chipped away with their contributions from Kokoriputra to Bean to Jawato to Prastawa to Ramot, Dianya. And Prosper has been the standout player, the 34 year old. But Indonesia have a visit to the line and they have a chance to go in front by three lead by one Prastawa good lead of two Indonesia ball Bean five minutes to go in the game
finish up by two. Holding on to possession here. Rastar, shot clock is at five. Something needs to happen. Bean, make a decision. And turnover. Too long. Good defense from Philippines. They'll have the ball now. A chance to take it up court and see if they can level matters or indeed go in front by one with a three-point play. Newsom trying to make things happen. Here's Ross. Tolentino, and that hits the top side and down. The rebound is the defensive rebound for Prosper under the bucket. With Beans appealing, feeling that was a, a held ball. Four minutes 31 in the fourth quarter. The winner goes to the gold medal game and is guaranteed a medal. The loser goes to the bronze medal game. It's a two point ball game. Indonesia, the defending champions, up by two. Ilas Filipinas down, but certainly not out. Nostawa. Clock is at three. Good play, solid play. Worked the ball to Caleb Ramot. Makes the play. And again, just great to see him back and playing for Indonesia, having missed the last two games through injury. Outside the arc, looking for three, and it's good. Roundly adds the additional three. He goes to 27 in the game and is the leading scorer now. Philippines back within one. Indonesia, 74. Philippines, 73. Indonesia, possession. Under four minutes to play in this game. One point ball game. Drive by Bean. And again, they let the shot clock count down. fourth quarter Philippines make this go they lead it's down 30 points in the game for Brownlee and Philippines in front by two 306 to go in the quarter and timeout called by Indonesia plays, including that one from Mokele Bramot. Brownlee having fun, landing three-pointers. He's got 30 in the game after this one. <laughs> Philippines up by two. Indonesia have led for much of this game but they are gritty they pulled off a splendid win in the gold medal game in Hanoi last year 581 over Gilas you might see something similar here in terms of score but what they did importantly 
Philippines' 33-year reign as the kings of basketball in the region. Indonesia still in with a chance to defend their gold medal in the gold medal game. They need to overcome this deficit of two now. Brownlee's been great for Philippines and Prosper has been exceptional for Indonesia. Rossa back on court for uh, Philippines. Brownlee with the, the ball snatched out of the air as the shot was well off target. Rossa gets the screen. The ball out wide. That looked like it was really good, but the recovery, getting the rebound. Lassiter again, second time. Brownlee, they're going to shoot again from beyond the arc go on the drive, shot clock is down at four, he makes the layup, and Philippines lead by four. 32 in the game for Brownlee. Turning things around, it's Philippines' biggest lead of the game. Two minutes to go in this game. Semi-final time. And this is on the edge of your seat stuff. If you're not already standing, Brownlee. Looking to call the plays, and he's just making it happen. How about that? That pass from Brownlee was exceptional, and the finish from Ross is superb. Philippines lead by six, their biggest lead of the game. 80 plays 74. Are they coming good at the right time? of Indonesia, Chorres, the legend makes it after a splendid bounce pass from Brownlee, when he's not scoring, he's assisting, and Philippines into their biggest lead of the game, they lead by six, Pins to go in this game. Ball, it's certainly far from the unthinkable that a six point deficit be overturned. It's happened on many occasions, but right now, the Philippines do look as if they're in the pound seats. And seemingly headed to the final. For the longest time, though, Indonesia in front play to get back underway post timeout from the free throw line Rosser doesn't make the bucket the lead of six remains now Bean looks to go on the drive where are the options might look for the two-point shot instead it is out and Philippines have the ball back an opportunity to increase their advantage Who wants it? Ross has it under control. Now Brownlee, who's been calling the plays successfully in this quarter. Brownlee with 32 points in the game. And eight rebounds, five assists. He's really having a wonderful evening. We've got 61 seconds remaining. Indonesia have got Arigi back on court, one of the SEA Games debutants, not one of the gold medalists from last time out. 
Philippines ball. Can they score from this play? Rosa looks to go for three and hits the rim and away. seconds what can Indonesia do other than foul the Philippines players Newsom makes it a lead of seven it's a lead of eight Clock running, Indonesia running. They need to score, they need to score big. And then prevent Philippines from scoring, get the ball back, score again, get the ball back, score again. That's what Indonesia need, at least. And they're not gonna get it here. Vincent Kosasi. off the court for Indonesia and straight away foul as the ball was inbounded and Philippines will have another visit to the free throw line and this is an opportunity to go 10 clear as Jawato infringes changes being made Diani is back on for Indonesia It look 33 points now for Brownlee. Make that 34 points on the night for Brownlee. Philippines in front by 10. Surely an unassailable lead now. Indonesia, what have they got in response? Dianya, they can't waste time if they are to try to stand any chance of coming back in it. 30 seconds to go. Diani with the additional two. They go to 76 and within eight. Philippines will just control the ball now, run the clock down. And Brownlee is looking to call the shots again. He's been the star as Philippines have come from 11 points down to go at one stage, 10 points up. Shot clock counting down. Philippines controlling the ball and Indonesia know it's all over. Seven seconds left. And that's the ball game. That is the end of it. Philippines maintain their impressive record of having made every single final at the SEA Games men's basketball competition. They've overcome an 11 point deficit to beat Indonesia by eight as they win 84 76. It was Indonesia for much of this game, but the third quarter changed things for Philippines. They certainly looked stronger in the second half. They looked untidy in the opening half, but in the second half, they showed their prowess, they showed their ability. And they scored what they needed to while restricting Indonesia. Brownlee with 34 points on the night. The star of the Philippines show. But they outscored Indonesia 24 points to 11 in the fourth quarter. And that's the difference ultimately. Philippines into the gold medal game. Where they'll have an opportunity to become champions yet again for a 19th time.
Stanley, the man that just made the plays happen in this fourth quarter. Ross was certainly up for it. Philippines were absolutely up for it. And Indonesia just looked at times discombobulated. They were not a side that played with composure in this third and fourth quarter as they were in the opening half. They made some plays. Prastawa landing a couple of big three-pointers back-to-back. But ultimately, just too good were uh, Philippines who could have left themselves well short because of their poor play from the free throw line. They left 12 points out on court from the free throw line, eight points that Indonesia left out on court as well as they eventually landed at 50% both these sides from the free throw line. But some driving plays, some magnificent three-point shots, a couple of jump shots in space, and that one from uh, Caleb Ramot for Indonesia. But Brownlee just going on a run. Had some hot hands tonight, did Brownlee, as he ended with 34 points. Of the 84, tabled by Philippines, Prosper. He got 26 on the night for Indonesia. Lasseter chipped in with a couple of really great plays, including that three-pointer. Brownlee, 34 points, nine rebounds, five assists. What a big night as he came good for Philippines to lead them into the final. Did that one happen for Rossa? Men's semi-final between Indonesia and... Thank you for watching. For more videos and updates, please subscribe.